Hey everyone, welcome to Gentle PST. I hope you guys are doing great. Today in this video, we are going to learn about what is mask and how to do it and what is mask reveal effect and how to do that. First, I will teach you the fundamentals of the mask tool and after that, we will learn to create the mask reveal effect in our video. It's going to be amazing. You guys are going to love this, believe me. And before we begin our tutorial, please kindly hit the subscribe button so you won't miss any future amazing tutorials like this. And without any further ado, let's get into it. Now, before we start learning fundamentals about mask, we need to look into the layers. Layers are very important when it comes to editing and it is extremely important for masking. So that's why I'm going to explain a few basic things so you can get the better understanding of it. So what do we have here? Here we have two layers and one is yellow layer and other is orange layer. The yellow layer is below and orange layer is right next to it. Now if I were to place anything on above this layer, you won't see the yellow layer. If I were to take the orange layer and place it above the yellow layer, we can only see the orange layer because it's completely blocking our yellow layer. If I were to hide this layer, you can see the yellow layer below. Now I am going to explain how masking works. Here we have an orange text and below that here we have an yellow text. So let's say I want to isolate this orange text. And how do you do that? Because that is where the mask comes. So if I were to select the orange layer and go to the effects control panel, here you can see these three icons. This is all our masking icons. You can use the pen tool to freely select your points or if you can use the polygon mask or if you can use the ellipse mask. It's your choice. So if I want to isolate this orange text, all I have to do is just make a mask over it. To do that, take the pen tool over here and make a shape like this. There. And just like that, we isolated our orange text. And below that, it's our yellow layer. So what if I say, I don't want this orange text, I want to see the yellow text, but with orange layer. And how do you do that? Go to the effects control panel, and here we have our mask. Click on the inverted checkbox. That's it. We now created a hole on our orange layer. And because of that hole, we are seeing directly the yellow layer that is below our orange layer. If I were to uncheck the inverted box, there, we can see the orange text. And that's how mask works. You can use the mask to isolate something in a video or a photo or you can use the mask to create a hole on your video. It's your choice. It's a simple tool but it's highly versatile depending on how you use it. So let's just go and create a super cool transition using this mask tool. I will create a new project and I will name it as mask reveal. Click OK. Now here I have 4 stock videos. I will bring these 4 stock videos onto our project panel by dragging it to the project panel like this. I now want to create a new sequence but all of these videos are all 1080p and 30 frames per second so it's all in the same settings so I don't have to worry about one video settings differ from another. So I will drag this first video onto our sequence panel like this to create a new sequence. As you see a new sequence has been created using this video settings and that is right click over here, go to properties, it's 1080p and 30 frames per second. Now let's play this video and see how it looks. As I said before, masking tools are used to isolate something in your video or removing something in your video. Since we want to make a mask reveal transition from one video to another, I'm going to use this car as you see this car passed by and it covers the whole screen and that is very important to make this scene transition more dynamic. And as it passed by, you can see there, as you see. I want this car as a mask reveal for the next video. As it passed by, a new video will be automatically shown here. For that we have to create a mask over here and animate it as the car moves. So let's do it. Take the time indicator where we can see the end of the car. There. Here you can see this little horn. This is where we start. Make sure you select the video layer. And in the effects control panel, under opacity, take the pen tool. Now we will start isolating this place as the car moves. Click over here. Right here. And right here. Right here, right here, yeah. As you can see, it automatically deletes the car, but we want to invert it. As you can see, it automatically deletes the car, but we want to invert it. We want to delete this place as the car moves. For that, under opacity in mask, click on this invert checkbox. 
and just like that we inverted our mask. Now we can see our car. Now we have to animate this mask as the car moves. For that we will click on this mask path toggle animation icon to make a keyframe and just like that. If you don't see the mask just click on the mask. Now we can see it. Move the time indicator to the next frame by clicking on the step forward one keyframe. There. As you can see our car moved, now we have to animate our mask to follow it. All you have to do, just take this mask and bring it over here. Make sure the mask don't hinder the back of this car. It's really important. And if you want to add more anchor points, just click over the mask, it will automatically add new anchor points. And drag it like this. You can manipulate it as much as you want. And just like that. So bring it a little closer. Now, if I close in over here, you can see there are two keyframes animated. Now let's move to next keyframe. There. All you have to do, just bring it over here. And drag it over here. Again drag it over here. Add a new anchor point and drag it like this. Add a new anchor point and drag it like this. And drag it like this. And move it over here. If you focus on mask as accurate as possible, it's going to be a really amazing transition to the video. You will love this. So it's worth spending more time on it. Now move to the next keyframe and bring the mask over here. Just like that. Bring it down. Bring it up. Now that looks good. Again move to the next keyframe. Bring the mask. Just like that. Now we are going to make the mask follow the curve for the rest of the video. So I'm going to fast forward it to save your time. We now animated the mask as the car moves. Let's play it and see how it looks. There. As you can see, as this car moves, there's nothing behind it. It's complete black. And why it's black? Because there's nothing over here. It's a hole. If you were to put something below this layer, it's going to be visible over here. If I move backwards, you can see there is this little hole over here before even the car enters our screen. As you can see. You can see that, can you? There, right over here. We have to remove that. For that, take the time indicator and go to the first keyframe. Just over here. Now click on the step backward one frame. And click on the mask to make the mask visible. And bring the mask over here. There. It's now gone. Let's play it again and see how it looks. There. That looks wonderful. As you can see, we now completely removed the background using the mask. It's a complete hole. Now let's put a video below, you will see the magic happen. Select this layer and bring this layer one layer above. Now that looks good. And again, do the same to the audio layer, bring it one layer below. Now, we will take the second video and place it over here. Take the time indicator to where the mask starts to happen. Nah, that looks good. We will move the video right over here. Let's play it from the beginning and see the magic. Uh, isn't that amazing? You can see the transition happen flawlessly. Let's play it again and see how it looks. And that's how you make a mask reveal in Premiere Pro. Super simple and it's super amazing. Now now, don't go. We will repeat this process until you get the good grasp of the mask tools. We will bring this two layer one layer above and bring the audio layer on layer below. Now bring in the third video and place it over here. If I were to move the time indicator to the right, you can see there is a guy crossing our screen. 
and he covers the whole screen as i said before it's really important it makes the transition happen you can use him as our mask reveal for the next video just like the car we did before all you have to do take the time indicator right where he starts to show there you can see over here you can see this little background over here this is where we start animating our mask make sure you select this video layer and in the effects control panel under opacity take the pen tool now make a mask just like that and join it as you can see the mask completely removed whatever is not selected but what we selected is completely visible so we have to invert it just like we did before under the mask click on this inverted checkbox now you will keyframe the mask path now step one frame forward and click on the mask to make the mask visible and start manipulating it add new anchors add new anchors add new anchors and new anchors and just like that again go to the next frame and start making it just like we did before keep doing it until he completely crosses our video make sure you don't over mask him it will make him little more unrealistic move to the next frame and bring the mask just like we did before bring it over here bring it over here so i'm going to fast forward just like we did before just to save your time now that we have mask cream let's place the video below and see how it looks take this third video and place it below now let's play it and see how it looks Yeah, that looks amazing isn't it and just like that you can use the mask tool to manipulate anything in your video from isolating something in your video to removing something in your video and making someone disappear in your video and if you were to be little more creative than this you can make lot of amazing effects using this mask tool believe me you will love this we can continue this transition as you can see there is another person crossing the street with the complete cover of the frame yeah. we can use him as our mask reveal and i will leave it to you I'm going to leave three of this video for you guys to download in the description so you can use this to practice your mask tool and mask reveal effect so you can learn more about it. Okay guys and just like that we are finally at the end of our video. I hope you learned something about this mask tool and mask reveal effect and if you have any doubt please leave a comment in the comment section. I will be happy to reply to it as soon as I can. And if you like this video click the like button and if you want to see more amazing tutorials like this click the subscribe button. Until our next tutorial stay safe stay happy. Thank you guys.